What's up, guys? I'm Michael Vorpal, and this is the show for those with common sense. So if you believe a girl can be a man and a man can be a girl, this probably isn't the uh, show for you because common sense would say otherwise. But I still challenge you to stick around because maybe we can share some ideas. You can hear a different perspective on something else, um, and you can absolutely move forward in your life, too. We are non-discriminatory here. Uh, however, with that being said, I need to get some legal and housekeeping things out of the way. So first and foremost, yes, I am an active duty United States Marine. So I want it to be known that this show is in no way an official affiliation to the Department of Defense, United States Marine Corps, or any other agency. So the content you hear are my thoughts, opinions, and perspectives, and do not represent any official remarks, statements, or anything the like of the mentioned agencies or equivalents. So common sense uh, reigning supreme here. Look, uh, this is me. It's in no other official capacity in any way, shape or form, but this is my way of giving back. All right. But now that my six is covered, uh, let's get into why I'm doing this show. I'm doing this show because I want to give back to you, whether it's the American citizens, service members, first responders, whoever, anyone who can gain some value, uh, from this show, I am here for you because I feel like not everyone executes their voice enough and execute those first amendment rights. So I am absolutely going to do that. Uh, while we still can. And this is my way of getting traction and getting everyone else to join together in order to have one common sense uh, driven voice and thoughts and, and exchange of ideas. And let's have some civil discourse and discussion so that we can move forward together. That is the whole point here. OK, uh, plus, um, I just want to be able to say that I did everything I could with the time and opportunity and tools given to me in order to make the change that I'm looking to to do. So with that being said, you're going to see a couple different formats of the show. One of the formats is called Let's Talk About It. That's where I'll see some headlines going on, uh, whether it's military related or otherwise, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if I find it important, I want to share an opinion or thought and sort of common sense behind it. Um, I will absolutely do that. That's the one type of uh, format of show. But the next format is called Lessons Learned, formerly known as Saved Rounds. That's where I've learned a lot of lessons over the course of my career, a little over a decade and a half now, uh, but life in general. And I want to be able to share those with you as well of things that I do and I practice on a daily basis um, or that I'm still learning and developing as well so that maybe you can get a little jump start uh, better than I did. Uh, the next format of the show is what we're going to be doing today, which is called a scroll and troll. That's where uh, we scroll some social medias, doesn't matter the platform, and then I troll it. Um, but I troll it in the sense of I want to bring some common sense back into what is being portrayed and how these actions actually dive into a bigger uh, picture and how our actions as individuals and our own self-accountability is huge. And then the final format as of right now, it's called full send Q&A. All right. So if you all my military guys, uh, you already know what full send means, like send it full send. All right. So just submit all your questions to me. OK, you can ask me anything and everything. And if I have the answer, I'm more than happy, happily uh, bring it to you and give you a perspective. And you can submit those questions by commenting in the comment section below on YouTube if you're watching me there or you can send them into full send for answers at Gmail dot com. Again, that's full send for answers at Gmail dot com. And I'll pull some questions from there in order to answer it. All right. But I'm, I'm not doing the show for free, guys. OK, ladies and gentlemen, I'm putting myself out there in a way in a proverbial crosshairs, if you will, uh, by doing the show and speaking my mind and perspective in the truth and in, in a very blunt way sometimes. So I, I, I need you. I need your help. It's not for free. I need you to contribute to the show. All right. So if you gain value from the show, I need you to contribute by simply sharing the show, letting someone else know about the show because not everyone's using their voice for a voice of good, a voice of positive uh, progression and common sense approach to things. And we need that now more than ever. And I wish I would have started this sooner, but better late than never. I'm showing up and I need you guys to show up too. If I'm showing up, you're showing up and you guys can hit the share. You guys can invite someone to subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. That'll help me out tremendously, but I know you're going to gain value from the show and the perspective that is needed. Okay. So with that being said, don't be dense and help me spread the common sense, but let's get into today's uh, scroll and troll. So it is a scroll and troll episode. I actually love these uh, 100%. So um, I, what I was doing is I was working out and I'm, I'm working my way, building myself as, you know, an influence in the fitness realm too. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm also a nutrition coach and personal trainer, but um, 
as I was going through, I was looking at what's going on in the social media, specifically on the Instagrams. And I came across a post of something that really caught my attention and caught my eye. For those of you who don't know, the Marine Corps, the common of the Marine Corps, our major in the Marine Corps, are uh, putting forward movement in a, prog uh, a progression uh, act of what's called Barracks 2030. So it's a Barracks 2030 plan. And that's in order to renovate, build, um, and update all the barracks and living situations or living quarters for their active duty Marines and in all barracks in general. So with that being said, there was a uh, video that was put out um, on the Sergeant Major Marine Corps Instagram page, and it gave a tour and things like that. Um, and I want to go ahead and watch the video with you or show you about the first minute of the video. And uh, you guys can watch the entire thing. I'll link it into the description. Uh, if you want to go watch the whole thing, it's going to be great. You're going to have like a gym area in the barracks. You're going to have uh, so many uh, way common spaces and things like that. But it really had me reminiscing back to 2009 when I was first uh, coming back from my first appointment. And I went from the barracks that I was in that was like super ancient and were like, give us renovation. And there was talk about renovating barracks and building new barracks. But then it finally came to fruition where in 2009, we got to go in these new barracks. It was like going from a motel to a hotel, holiday inn, right? But so we went from a motel, we got into the hotel and we were so appreciative of it. And it's amazing that now there's actually even more further progression because look, the Marines have been screaming for quality of life. You know, everyone, we always joke about how the air force has like these hotels that they stay in for their barracks and this, that, and the other. Right. But now we actually have an initiative, a 20 a barracks, 2030 plan set into place that was fought for that we needed to get funding for like, ladies and gentlemen, Marines, if you don't understand what went into that, you need to understand that the senior enlisted leadership at the headquarters of Marine Corps level have been going to bat, bringing congressmen and women out to see your living situations, living conditions, and actually meeting the Marines, you that are in the current living state that you are in, in order to give them a big picture so that you can have advocates and get legislation or get bills or, or get the approval right passed in order to get the funding in order to do this barracks 2030 plan for the United States Marine Corps for you, it's Marines for America's Marines. Okay. So you have to understand that there was a lot of work and a lot of um, planning and a lot of showing and a lot of advocating on your behalf from our senior leadership at headquarters Marine Corps. Okay. So now we have this barracks 2030 plan. All right. It's moving forward. It's going through. And before I talk anymore, again, I'm reminiscing going back to, to 2009. The same thing happened for me uh, in the Marines I was serving with. Some of them are still in. Some of them are out now. But this this was literally the same thing that was going on. But let's listen to Sergeant Major in the Marine Corps real quick. I find myself in uh, Naval Weapons Station, Yorktown. Right there is Security Forces. This is a brand new barracks that I came to see. I wanted to show you bits and pieces of this new barracks. But I also wanted to speak to you a little bit about what Barracks 2030 plan is all about. You're going to hear me talk about this quite a bit in the next few months. Barracks 2030. This is the Commandant's way of getting after investing in all things human beings, like he said he would. So that means that it requires a plan. Inside the Barracks 2030 plan, there are three main objectives here. One is to modernize the buildings themselves. Two, to professionalize the management, and three, to get after what's inside of the barracks. So, NCOs and staff NCOs who are acting in the capacity of barracks managers today, we want you back in your platoons. We will hire civilians, we will hire contractors to worry about the upkeep of these kind of buildings 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so we can all focus on the mission at hand. All right. Appreciate that, Sergeant Major. So with that being said, there's a big initiative to update. And, and you again, I challenge you, go listen. It's about a seven minute total video and I wasn't going to show the entire thing, but I wanted to get the overall view of what the uh, the advocates up at Headquarters Marine Corps senior leadership have been working towards and getting approval for 
and getting the money and funding there in order to build a better quality of life and actually get Marines from managing the barracks and bring in a civilian force so that they can monitor that so that the leadership can be back. Uh, Marines can be back around Marines doing their primary uh, military occupational specialty or their job field. OK, their career fields. There's a lot of positive things going on here. But and, and it got me really juiced again, going back. 2009, coming back from our first appointment, we had the up there, the motel, the hotel, right? How did they end? Now it looks like it's an even further upgrade. All right. With that being said, I do have a huge concern with this. And my biggest concern is going to come back to the upkeep and the appreciation of the hard work and dedication that our senior leadership has put into getting this plan and initiative to gain traction and actually come to fruition. You have been asking for this. We have been asking for this. All senior leadership has been asking for an upgrade into the quality of life so that now motels, hotels can turn into holiday inns and be well-respected. And it's a place you can go, let your hair down, so to speak, relax, uh, hang out together, have camaraderie, still work out, whatever it is you want to do. It's now gained traction for you to do so. But Marines, here is why I am 100% concerned about this moving forward. As again, scrolling on the grams, scrolling on the grams, we have Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps and Commandant of the Marine Corps and a lot of senior leadership advocating for you in order to get this Barracks 2030 plan underway. But this is what we can still see on the grams when it comes to the Barracks. Check this out. Here we have what appears to be at the barracks right now with the location tagged right there. And I didn't bother blocking out who this is because this is a public profile. I mean, it is what it is. All right. So if you want the world to be able to see it, here you go. But you have a date stamp here. Now, this was done a while ago, but. Clearly, they were either grilling or something like that. Anyway, there's fire that goes over here and is on the front of the grills. And this is the type of infrastructure and things in terms of a barracks uh, behind them with the table and the stone table. And, and, and it's circular and round, so you can all sit together and congregate all great things. But then you have these individuals here with the fire that seems to be not in control on this gas grill. And someone's trying to light a cigarette. Someone's holding their head down in order to light a cigarette in terms of that fire. Someone's laughing at it, pointing at it. And then they decide to go ahead and put a bush light box from, you know, holding beer. Typical thing you get with the handle, right? As a 24 pack, 12 pack, whatever of, of beer. So you have the wooden box and cardboard that it's coming in. And they put it on the grill, again, gas grill that was just out of control on the front of the grill. And they just let it continue to burn and they burn the bush light box. And it's in the caption on this says August 26, 2023, burning bushes. All right. With that being said, then you have another individual who's like doing the rock and roll like that ah, thing while you continuously have this bush box burning in the background. Now, given the layout and what this building appears to be in the background, the way that these gas grills are designed, these are the same like contracted type of gas grills to this updated barracks in the past. It seems like those are the same ones that were installed in other barracks when I was stationed in 29 Palms uh, just over four years ago um, or excuse me, uh, two years ago when I left there. These were the same ones. And even there. The handles on them were busted. Um, the the grates were missing, like Marines. They just were not taken care of. And this is my concern. My concern is, is that the amount of attention to leadership in detail and self-accountability is going to be lackluster while our senior leaderships are being advocate for us when they instilled the trust in the transformation that we had into Marines, into their subordinate leaders, into their small unit leaders, into their NCOs, staff NCOs, and uh, junior officers as well. There needs to be complete supervision and upholding of the standard 
that the Marine Corps has for us as leaders, as individuals. So self-leadership, right? Self-discipline and that of each other, peer-to-peer -peer leadership and holding accountability. So self-accountability and peer accountability. So because you have to remember, Marines, nothing is given to you for free and it's up to you to uphold it. There's a lot of work that is going into this plan and you have to take that serious. You have to take your slice of the pie of accountability and responsibility to maintain this so that the quality of life and this plan can keep moving forward. So you need to grow up and you need to realize that what your actions do, all right, will be seen for what it is. And what we just saw is abuse of the amenities that we have. It's straight up abuse. That is not, that it's neglect. That's negligent. That's not how you're supposed to use those things. Okay. Another thing you need to realize is that self-accountability is going to be critical to maintain the quality of life you want. So stop letting all these actions of stupidity go unchecked. You must make better decisions. You have to make more sound decisions. It's a must or else you're going to like take away any responsibility any any want to fight in the future for a continued better quality of life you have to remember you are a part of the nation's most elite fighting force and organization of professionals so ask yourself what examples are you willing to show the american public and the world through this behavior you're using and abusing taxpayer money you're damaging the marine corps brand and you're falling into the exact reason why quality of life is never where it could be. Because of those actions, because you don't see the big picture. So here's how we fix it. One, ask yourself those points, but here's how we fix it. We have to, one, understand it's our responsibility as an individual Marine to practice the professionalism and exceptional judgment we've been entrusted to use to make positive decisions. Individual, it is you, it is your responsibility, it is my responsibility to execute the good judgment and make sound decisions. Number two, it's our responsibility as the individual Marine to hold all Marines around you, regardless of rank, to the Marine Corps standards, leadership principles, and leadership traits. Wrong is wrong, stupid is stupid, negligent is negligent. It does not matter. If you're acting a fool, you should call them out. There's ways to go about it. I'm not saying you'd be disrespectful. But we hold each other and of all ranks to account, to do the right thing, to practice those leadership traits, those leadership principles, especially when we see that negligence is there. And number three, it is our responsibility to show our higher leadership that their efforts and actions are not in vain and that we appreciate their actions to gain agreement for funding to revamp the living situation and build a better quality of life. We have to show the appreciation by doing the previous two things. That's how we do that. They are fighting for you. They are fighting for a better quality of life because they automatically believe, and there's this assumption that you are practicing the previous two. I hope, I hope that they continue to have that belief and we can reinforce that belief by taking self-accountability, self-discipline, and this responsibility serious. Because if you do not, then there's a way for things to not continuously get better. But it comes down to you as the individual Marine, as the leader, it comes down to me as the individual Marine and leader and expect that of you. We should be expecting that of each other. That's what's needed here. And that's my concern. My concern is that that is ever not apparent and that poor judgment is already there. But we have an opportunity right now to revamp this with the barracks and living situation you have now. It's up to you. Start practicing this now or else that motel to hotel, the Holiday Inn will turn right back into a motel. Because it's up to you to maintain it. It's up to you to uphold it. It's up to you to practice good judgment. It's up to you to be accountable for yourself and your actions and those around you. One team, one fight. No matter what the rank is, wrong is wrong. 
and you should address it in an appropriate manner that it needs to be addressed in. So, in conclusion, the quality of life in the barracks is a topic that is and a tale that's old as time. When I came back from my first appointment in 2009, there were brand new barracks built then, and the appreciation we had was through the roof. Compared to the barracks I was living in before deployment, these were fancy like a hotel. But again, how quickly a hotel can be reduced to a motel if you continue to allow yourself to be lazy, execute poor judgment, and fail to meet the expectations that everyone expects of a Marine. So I want you to ask yourself something. I want you to ask yourself if you could look your mother and father in the face and say you're upholding your end of the bargain. Can you tell your peers you're holding up your end of the bargain? And most importantly, can you tell yourself that you're holding up your end of the bargain? Are you doing those things? Leaders, NCOs, staff NCOs, and officers, and junior Marines. It's up to us to take individual actions to get the appreciation and standard back to where it needs to be in, in, to be in regards to the barracks. I can't be the example all by myself, and I need your help to get this movement going. This all seems like common sense to me, so don't be dense and share the common sense and see you guys next time.